Kenya's economy is at a crossroad. After five years of sustained economic growth, a combative political climate, severe drought and a crippling credit crunch have all conspired to dim economic growth in 2017. Already, economic growth for quarter one of 2017 has been disappointing at 4.7% compared to 5.9% in the same period of 2016. This has forced the National Treasury to lower economic growth for 2017 to 5.1%. 5, 5.1 is uh, achievable uh, looking at the remainder of this year. I think um, what has happened, you can see that uh, uh, certainly uh, agriculture may perform better than last year in light of the, the better rains than last year. As you know, last year we only had long, long rains only. The short rain failed, that's why we had the drought. This year, we, long rains came. Um, we are now experiencing short trains, which is very key. National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich says the government has been forced to embark on a fiscal realignment in the face of deteriorating revenue flows. The exchange was impacted and uh, by now it has recovered. Uh, this is also another area that uh, is usually uh, is sensitive to issues to do with uh, investor uh, perception. In the first quarter of this financial year, the Kenya Revenue Authority missed its target by 40 billion shillings. Treasury is implementing a series of austerity measures in a bid to sustain government operations. The funds will be saved from all three arms of government and the county government. Despite all the uh, challenges we are facing the year, uh, as a way of summary, economy remains strong. Uh, fundamentals uh, are, are very solid uh, and uh, we of course expect a speedy conclusion of this uh, uh, electioneering uh, issue and hopefully our economy should recover fully to the trajectory that we had uh, expected early this year into the medium term. As part of the cost saving mechanisms the purchase of new furniture, entertainment budget and foreign as well as domestic travels have been frozen. Rotic has further denied reports that the government has been forced to reschedule its loan repayment with creditors due to revenue shortfall. Treasury expects the agricultural sector to rebound due to improved rainfall.